Welcome to Cypress Sawmill. The purpose of this video clip is to show how to prepare one of our Macrocarpa laminated tops for oiling. The first thing we're going to do is cut this piece of timber to the right length. At the moment the width is 620mm and the length we need is 800mm. So I'm just going to measure this here, put a mark at 800 and draw a square line. Then I'm going to measure back off this line 100 millimeters. And draw another line. And this is where we're going to uh, fix our guide piece so that when the skill saw comes through, it cuts exactly on this line. So what I've just done here is I've screwed on a guide piece on this line here which is exactly 100 millimeter, millimeters away from this line here so that when I run the skill saw through it'll cut exactly on this line. So having cut to length, now we just need to round the corners and you can use um, a piece of sandpaper, you could use a sander, uh, in my case I'm going to use a router with a rounding bit. And I'm going to use an orbital sander to Take the sharp ends off the corners here and also on the underside. Uh, now that we're just about ready to oil, the last thing we do is just give the top surface a light sand just to get rid of any little imperfections. And it's important not to sand it too fine. Okay, now that we've got the surface sanded and it's dust free, we've got two options to coat it with. We've got the Osmo oil, which is more of a natural, non-glossy finish, and it's very easy to apply. The other option is the Moisture Cure Polyurethane. That'll give you a, a quite a glossy finish, which is very hard wearing. And uh, if you want to see how to apply that, check the description below. So when applying the Osmo oil, give it a good shake, and then apply an even coat over the whole surface, paying particular attention to the end grain, and make sure you seal the underside as well, because it's important to get a total envelope of the oil on the laminated top. Now that we've got the first coat on both sides, we're going to wait for about half an hour and go back with a clean rag and wipe off any excess. That means we're going to end up with a nice thin coat which will dry quickly ready for the second coat. So half an hour has elapsed and now we're going to rub off the surface with a clean rag to get rid of any, any excess. With the rags, make sure you spread them out and let them dry outside. If you leave them in a ball like this, there's a danger of them spontaneously combusting. 
Okay, it's a day later and the Osmo oil is dry and the surface is a little bit rough, which is normal with timber, the grain raises up. So we need to rub that back with steel wool. Steel wool works really well. Alright, now that we've got the first coat smoothed off with steel wool, we're ready to put the second coat of Osmo oil on. Again, all the way around, paying particular attention to the end grain. And then the next day, tomorrow, we'll be able to apply the third coat, and that will be it. Just remember that we're trying to achieve a thin coat, so after about half an hour, go back with a clean rag and rub off any excess. That way you're guaranteed to have a thin coat which will dry quickly for the next coat. Okay, it's day three now, and this at top has had two coats of oil, and it's looking pretty good. Um, there's just a little bit of roughness there, so we're going to rub it back again with the steel wool, and give it one more thin coat of oil, and it should be ready to go. Okay, so here we have the finished product. A Macrocarpa laminated timber top with three coats of Osmo oil to give a nice natural hard wearing surface that can be easily refurbished.